Good afternoon everyone, I'm Veronique and I'm back to a new video with Unscop International Society. So today I'm coming here to make a testimony regarding my academic years at the University of Edinburgh. The question is, why did I need a master program for four years? Supposed to do the masters for one year. So I started the masters in 2017. 2018 normally the program is for one year 2018 so i'm supposed to be graduate but unfortunately i get sick i have a very bad sick so what happened basically is when i start in 2017 the program ms operation and supply chains at the university of the state i can't to be very sick so i remember like it was very bad i go to class i was so tired i was i was badly very tired so but I keep going to classes, I keep doing exams, I keep writing assignments. I couldn't even even know uh, knowing what was the center of myself. So I remember going to the health center of the university and explain that I feel so much tired. And I, I cannot even explain what is the reason of my tiredness. So the nurse say, ah, it's okay, you may probably, you are just tired regarding all the work that uh, you've been started at the university. So I say, no, that's not usual for me. Normally, I'm very energetic. I, I can work hard. I can work for a long hour. I can start for a long hour. I can work for a long hour. I can do a lot of things. So it was really surprised for me to be in that circumstance of really being weak. So I remember going to class, writing that assignment, um, then feeling very weak even. And the one time um, I keep going to health center and explain the situation, she keeps saying, take the vitamin, it will be fine. Like a, I take the, 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 the vitamin like to get energy but I couldn't even burn myself back like it was a very bad situation so I keep going to class and I even miss class so I stay home working at home and I keep having for the business school you need, you need to come back to class because if you keep missing class it won't be good for your attendance because at the University of the Street you are in mark when you are not when you are mark when you are missing class so it's very important to be in classes was very important so I missed so many classes but fortunately the first time of the of the master operation is supply chain I pass it. Master operation I was splashing side. It was so the first time is so difficult. Supply chain area it's a main very very difficult subject I ever 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 have and done because it's really like a scientific topic. So it requires a lot of time to study but thanks because via my bachelor, via the masters I've been doing in Paris or in uh, in, uh, in in Strasbourg, I, 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 I gained so many many skills to develop so that I passed my first year because it was look like my, my my bachelor program actually. So I passed the first year and I remember going to information system classes. We we have an information um, exam, and I remember that day I, it was a very bad day. I did, I did I did well, I did well. That day was not the best ever. So I passed that exam, but I remember that night when I went back home. I was trying to close the windows and suddenly I could not see anymore. I nearly fell on my table uh, in the house and I was alone in the house. My All of my classmates was basically to their family or boyfriend, whatever. They were not home at all. I was on my own in the house so it was basically the time where we have um a time for summer time so we, we just stay at home like and it was like an holiday a holiday so it was the last time that the first time was end up like that so i was alone like and then i just said well, you know what tomorrow i must go to the health center and declare that we they must do something so i went there and i explained the situation the woman said no it's okay you can't can't come like that you must wait. I say I cannot wait because if I wait, today is my day. Today I won't make it. So you must do something. So she she bring me back home. She said you go home. You come back after. Then I went back home, and I said no, no. If you stay home, it's it's the last day of my life. Really. So I went back. I went back to the health center and explained. You know, I'm not feeling well. You must do something. So she made me see a nurse, and the nurse gave me a prescription to go to the hospital. In, uh, in other fields. So I went to the hospital in other fields. They get the blood tests to me and uh, I went back home. And that night, they basically called the ambulance 
then I called the, uh, the, the doctor called me and said, Miss Veronica, you need to come downstairs. The ambulance is waiting for you outside. So you know, you need to go downstairs right now. You need to go downstairs. So I went downstairs. So I was not even realized that it was something bad. So I was dressing nice, makeup everywhere. Even if I was very weak, I went downstairs and then the ambulance said, um, is it you who are sick? I said, yes, see, you don't look like you are sick at all. <laughs> Definitely was not look like I was sick. I was look like I was fine, but I was not fine at all. So I said, yeah, it's me. And then he put me on the on the on the on the ambulance and then he just asked me many questions. Where is your parents? Where are you? Doing? What are you doing? As I'm studying currently, the university and, and so on and so on. And then bring me to the hospital, they put the blood, they keep making many exams, and then the doctor said, You know what, Bernie, you only have 37 to 38 percent of blood in you. So it means that you have anemia in your in your cell. So um, it's the most risky things that you ever ever done, and um, we do even understand how did you make it. Normally, you can't make it with this low level of blood in yourself. So I realized that it was really bad because the doctor was really worried. With the nurse was worried. Everybody was just worried when they talk, and I was just stay quiet because I didn't I didn't know I didn't realize that it was really bad. So it was in my program of master, so I just, okay, this time it's bad, it's really bad story, probably. It is a bad story. <laughs> so I just, and then they put the blood on me, so I stayed one night uh, in the hospital, so they uh, put blood inside of me, so that I can have a level of um, a higher percentage of blood in me, so I have a blood in me test. So I went back home that day, I went back home, I went just, I just, I didn't realize that I was sick like that, so I went back home and I said, and they give me prescriptions, some medicine to take, so that I can, I can, um, uh, you know, go back. And the reason of the anemia is because I have a heavy period. I lose so many heavy periods, so I'm coming back. So then they say you need to come back. You need to go and make some exam. We're gonna investigate what is going on to you. So make many things like um, examine like I am. There many, many, many things, and they, they tell me later on. Throughout the years, I was studying basically. So I keep going to class. I say to the business school, this is what happened to me. I give them the notes that I've been to the hospital. So they found out that I have anemia. So this is the reason why I didn't make it. I didn't make it well. But I keep going to class. The first time I pass, so I'm going to the second term. The first time was with everybody. And um, uh, the day that I made the exam or information system, I, that time I didn't even make any, exa any ex examination investigations of what is going on to me. It's after the exam that when I went back home that happened basically. So I just said I, I need to take a decision regarding that. So the second term, I knew that my health situation was really, really bad. And I keep going to class and I say to the, the business school, this is bad story for me. So I need, to, I need to tell what is going on. But I keep going to class. I keep going to um, this time. The second time was uh, not with all the classes. It was only especially for operations, plantations, um, courses. So it was focused on project management and um, um, operations essentials and strategic improvement. That's and we were only three. So me and two guys. So one only three in that class, especially for operations plantations. But I was keeping very weak. I keep going. I keep having the same symptom. I keep having uh, the heavy periods and I was always weak and uh, whatever they give me the prescriptions of you know medicine regarding my situation so I was sick badly so I keep going to class I pass, I pass um, an assignment the second assignment project management and strategy improvement I, I felt I felt simple because I was not well at all so it was in two